My name is Iris Berendt. I'm a professor of psychology at Northeastern and I study language. What's special about human languages is that they are pattern generators of a particular kind. So all languages allow certain patterns and not others. For example, my own research studies the sound patterns of language, this pattern of linguistic sounds. Many languages have restrictions on the structure of their sound patterns, and it turns out that some of those restrictions happen to be universal across languages. And again, our interest is in why that's the case. We try to see how the pattern instincts of humans bring to bear on a long-standing issue, which is how do we recognize human speech? Research has shown that if you hear an acoustic stimulus, the very same sound can be processed either as speech or as non-speech, depending on the context. Our solutions to that is this. What people might be doing is we might send all acoustic stimuli through the language system re without really committing to whether they are speech or not. Um, we run linguistic analysis on that that tries to see can we find some structural patterns in that. And if we can find structures that are well formed according to the human grammar, then we might be more likely to identify this acoustic stimulus as speech, whereas if we don't find su such well formed patterns or if the patterns are ill formed, then we will be inclined to think of that as non-speech. In future research, we want to bring these particular results to bear on the general issue of the basis of the human capacity for language. So we want to know whether some of the constraints on speech recognition might be in fact universal across different languages. Likewise, just as we showed that the structure of language can affect how you perceive sound, can it also affect how you produce it on their motor system in the brain? So these are questions that we intend to study.